Don't be afraid of failure. This is the way to succeed. I'm going to use all my tools, my God-given ability, and make the best life I can with it. Dream as if you'll live forever. Live as if you'll die today. You can't be afraid to fail. It's the only way you succeed. You're not going to succeed all the time and I know that. I hate letting my teammates down. I know I'm not going to make every shot. Sometimes I try to make the right play, and if it results in a loss, I feel awful. I don't feel awful because I have to answer questions about it. I feel awful in that locker room because I could have done something more to help my teammates win. I always say decisions I make, I live with them. There's always ways you can correct them or ways you can do them better. At the end of the day, I live with them. Sometimes in the past when I played something might make me lose focus, or I would go home after a game where I thought I could have played better and I would let it hang over my head for a long time when it shouldn't. My game is really played above time. I don't say that like I'm saying I'm ahead of my time. I'm saying, like if I'm on the court and I throw a pass, the ball that I've thrown will lead my teammate right where he needs to go before he even knows that that's the right place to go to. Warren Buffett told me once and he said always follow your gut. When you have that gut feeling, you have to go with don't go back on it. I treated it like every day was my last day with a basketball. All your life you are told the things you cannot do. All your life they will say you're not good enough or strong enough or talented enough. They will say you're the wrong height or the wrong weight or the wrong type to play this or be this or achieve this. They will tell you no. A thousand times no. Until all the no's become meaningless. All your life they will tell you no. Quite firmly and very quickly. And you will tell them yes. I like criticism. It makes you strong. I don't need too much. Glamour and all that stuff don't excite me. I'm just glad I have the game of basketball in my life. Ask me to play, I'll play. Ask me to shoot, I'll shoot. Ask me to pass, I'll pass. Ask me to steal, block out, sacrifice, lead, dominate, anything. But it's not just what you ask of me. It's what I ask of myself. I think, team first. It allows me to succeed. It allows my team to succeed. To being trustworthy. To being successful. How committed are you to being a good father, a good teammate, a good role model? There's that moment every morning when you look in the mirror. Are you committed or are you not? I hear my friends and my mom tell me I'm special, but honestly, I still don't get it. Once you become a professional athlete or once you do anything well, then you're automatically a role model. I have no problem being a role model, I love it. I have kids looking up to me and hopefully I inspire these kids to do good things. I think the reason why I am who I am today is because I went through those tough times when I was younger. I hear that word pressure all the time. There is a lot of pressure put on me but I don't put a lot of pressure on myself. I feel if I play my game, it will take care of itself. If you put everything together as far as my mind, my body, my game, if you put everything in one bottle, this is probably the best I've been. I have short goals, to get better every day, to help my teammates every day, but my only ultimate goal is to win an NBA championship. It's all that matters, I dream about it. I dream about it all the time, how it would look, how it would feel. It would be so amazing. 